All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Top Line. It's your boy, Chris, and uh, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, hope everybody's having a great, 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 great Taco Tuesday, man. Um, You know, I did the video last night where I was talking about Michael Parsons, Um, and I felt his pain, you know? I, I felt his pain. Like I said, I, I said in the entire video, I feel him. He's hurt. But see, you know... <laughs> If you watched that game last night, ladies and gentlemen, and you listened to the commentators of that game, you would have thought Michael Reed having in that game. Boy, you just heard, oh, they're going to line Michael up over against that rookie. He ain't got enough of spirit. They're going to have to give him some help over there. Oh, Michael can line up, line up anywhere he please. Uh, Mike Zimmer just give him free reign to line up anywhere he please. He, he, he can be wherever. He can choose what side he want to play on. My guy, two precious. Two precious. Two little cute little precious. The way they act, the way they talk, the way they spoke. Judah thought this man was the next Lawrence Taylor. Judah thought that he did so much. And it's just funny. Because every time we watch a Michael play, I feel like these quarterbacks gain some extra athleticism, don't it? Boy, they be slipping Michael and dodging Michael. Michael's almost, he almost have 100 sacks every year. And to be that upset, uh, but never address the fact that you really didn't do nothing, that's the part no one want to talk about. And you know why I don't feel like that? Because this, this, this the season is over. And we got to start from the bottom. We got to start from the bottom. And you got to start with the we'll start with the hype. Michael got hyped up last night. They said he was going one-on-one -on -one with that young buck, and that young buck wasn't going to be able to handle Michael, wasn't going to be able to do nothing with Michael. Michael had two pressures. That's it. Nothing come out. No sacks. Nothing come after that. Two pressures. And it's, but this is the guy that are going around and yelling, we can make a run. This team works so hard. We can make a run. We can do this. I ain't giving up. I'm fighting this. You ain't got to give up. But if you're not going to give up, please show up. Two pressures. See, what happens is, when, when these announcers and these commentators just continue to say this person, like, oh, he lined up here. Oh, look where he at. Look, oh, he's over there now. Oh, look, but they forget to say at the end of that, he didn't do nothing with it. Maybe they should not let Michael do what the hell he want to do. Because ain't that the, wait, 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 wait. It's a damn defensive coordinator job, Mike Zimmer, to put a player in the best position for him to win. Not for him to go out there and decide, uh, I'm going to rush on this side right now. Uh, I'm going to rush on that side right now. First of all, what is the D, what is the D coordinator doing? That don't sound right. I've heard, I, I, now, now, that may be something. I just really, I've never heard that. I've heard, hey, we're going to rush you from this side or we're going to rush you from that side. Now, I heard him moving the player around, but letting the player just pick where he want to go, that, again, we got to stop. This is a must-win game. This was a show-me game, Micah. You show nothing. You show nothing. The only thing they showed you on the screen all day. And then they caught you at the end with the whoop. But I understand the emotion. I understand the emotion. But you got to be better. Before you, you whine and cry about. And, and I feel like I keep saying I respect emotion. You're hurt. You want to win. Hell, I want to win too. But see. As a fan, my pain comes from a little different place because ain't a damn thing I can do about it. See, you got an opportunity to do something about it out there. Two pressures ain't going to get it done if you try to fight and claw and you believe in this team and y'all going to get to the playoffs and this is how you're going to do it. And they work so hard. Well, have anybody ever heard somebody say, man, this team ain't working that hard? Or, man, this person ain't working this hard? Or, man, this player ain't working that hard? You ever heard that? No, everybody works hard. Everybody works hard. But the problem is, as I constantly see with the Dallas Cowboys, is when the opportunity is there, they never capitalize on it. The opportunity has been there so many times, they just do not capitalize on it. So can we please, because you'll let people say, oh, man, that man, Michael, man, yeah, he, he's hurt. 
these cars. But the difference between him and the fans is ain't nothing we can do about it. There's something you can do about it. Showing up with two pressures is not doing nothing about it. So you can rant, rave, cry, get mad, whatever. But when you get the opportunity to do something, do it. Maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe that maybe wrestling with sumo wrestlers ain't it. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Maybe you need to be in a film room trying to figure out why, why I can never get home when it matters. When it when that pressure builds up. When damn, we need this this a litmus test right here. This will tell us what we need to know right here. This the one that's gonna get us to where we need to go right here. Oh, Mr. Parsons. Oh, Mr. Parsons, a no show. See, the problem, as I keep saying, the problem I think you got with the Cowboys, you got too many leaders pushing from the back. You too many leaders are pushing from the back. But at the same time, but at the same time, a lot of these leaders, hold on, God, I got to switch seats real quick. I got it. I should do one of those videos, you know, where you talk really nice about your wife and then she get in, then get in the car and walk around, you talk smack about her. I love you so much, baby. You're, yeah, you're a beautiful. It's, it's crazy. I swear. I don't know. What's going on? I'm crazy. I don't know. I'm a party slam man. I don't know. I don't know. You good, man? Love you, girl. Um, but nah, man, all jokes aside, like, it's too much. We got to stop that. You know what? You can't leave if you're not showing up when they need you. When things are hard, when things are tough, when things are, 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 are rubber meets the road down to the bone, they need to look at that leader and say, he got us. We're going to be all right because we got this person. This person gonna put something on that stat sheet. See, I keep saying why I think Kansas City, many people are saying Pat Mahomes got having the worst season, but they still win. They only lost one game. Why? Because they know when the rubber meets the road, when they need that play, Patrick Mahomes gonna get it. They believe that, even if it don't happen every time. They believe that. Can you, can you say, I know we need to stop. I know Michael gonna go get me a sack right here. Hey, I need that play game on the line. We need that drive. We need that play. Can you say, Michael, gonna, I'm, I'm sorry, Dak going to make that make that pass? Or he going to make it when it matters? I'm not talking about when there ain't no pressure. See, yeah, that end of the game stuff is cool, and you can make it when you, it's, it's week five and you're playing the Giants or you're playing the Commanders or the Panthers or something like that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about week 16. Or matter of fact, division round playoff game on the line. Is there anybody on that team that you trust other than the young man that went down, unfortunate, for DeMarion Overshawn again, man? Hope he be back and ready to go next season. Prayers up for him. That's the problem we got in Dallas, ladies and gentlemen. So we can stop selling it and start actually doing it. With that being said, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, man. You guys be great.